So welcome everyone to another series, a brand new series called Career Mode or you can also say Manager Career Mode or Manager Mode and I will be managing Everton, one of the one of the Premier League teams in England and you can also say it's one of the successful team in the world as well even though they haven't won the title yet. So in these in this journey I will be playing I will be playing as a manager and I will you know bring success to Everton. So how this series work is I'll be playing around three to four seasons in total. And a lot of people is gonna ask me, so when are you going to stop or move on to another team? Well, uh, the main objective in this series is to win three important silverware. For example, FA Cup. Uh, I think it's fairly easy because it's domestic cup. Premier League is a little bit, it's a little bit hard because you have top four team, um, Man City, Manchester United, Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea, and Liverpool. So there's a huge competition there. And also, I really want to won, I want to, I really want to win a cup called the Champions League. I know in FIFA it's really hard because you are competing with all the best teams in the world no in Europe for example you have Barcelona Real Madrid Dort Dortmund Bayern Munich so for example these are the teams that are really really tough well so I, I'm predicting that the first year in, in Everton I would try to finish at the top four to get a Champions League spot and I will try to win FA Cup and also I will try to win uh, the Premier League as well. So hopefully within those three to four years I'll be uh, if I hopefully I will win uh, all three of them. If not I will move on to another team in another league. So Everton. Um, Everton is not I don't really it's not I don't care about them. It's just I'm really unfamiliar with the team. Well, there are a lot of players that I know. Uh, for example, you have Ross Barkley, uh, one of the best uh, central attacking midfield in the game. And you have Lukaku, literally the best striker, or one of the best strikers in the world. And you have also some veterans, old people, or you can say old people. Uh, Gareth Bell? No, not Gareth Bell. Uh, Gareth Barry. Aaron Lennon. Well, I, I, I looked up to them when I was young. Uh, at that time, Barry was playing for Aston Villa and Aaron Lennon is playing for Tottenham Spurs. So in this team, there are a lot of young, there are a lot of youngsters. Uh, for example, Muniz Mori, uh, the central defender. And well, I kind of feel bad for, uh, for Coleman because he is, I, I, I want to say he is one of the best right back in the game and unfortunately against when he played against the Welsh side he, he got a broken leg which kept him out for which is going to keep him out for the entire season uh, I completely understand because personally I'm an Arsenal fan a huge huge Arsenal fan and of course uh, not choosing not choosing my favorite team is, is tough but I but also in this series I want to try it out you know, a new team uh, to kind of get familiar with them. So I play Arsenal career mode already in this uh, in this game, but I also want to try it, try something out. And so the objectives for us are to reach to I don't we don't have Euro final, but uh, to to reach to a Champions League spot, something like that. Well, I don't really care about the objective because I think it's kind of broken, especially when you play for another 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 team uh before i opened a career mode for a uh, hoffenheim which they which they invest a lot of money on uh on youth development which i think is kind of impossible so here we uh we play against hoffenheim just now and we want and we beat them and here's a uh here's an offer from crystal palace they offered 8.5 million or 8 million for our young center defensive midfield we just call him cdm uh 
Bisek. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but uh, I won them too, and I beat them for 15, 15 million dollars. But they, uh, where they came back, and then they think they thought it was too too much, so uh, so they rejected it in the end. And here's another simulation game against another German side, Cologne, and we beat them two to one. And here are the players that. I will mainly, uh, I, I mainly want to uh, train them. For example, Davis, the center midfielder, uh, kind of a breakout season for him. Um, Funes Mori, defender, and Mason Holgate. And we sim another game against PSV, beat them three to three to nothing. And here's another training. And Davis has already gone up by one from 68 to 69. And Mason Holgate also gone gonna buy one as well so here are my short list for who am I going to sign so first of all we want to sign or I want to sign a goalkeeper we have uh, Joel and Skattenberg Skattenberg is that how you pronounce it Skattenberg two goalkeepers one of them one of them is, is a veteran uh, he recently moved to um, he recently moved to Everton for 5.5 million from from Fulham and you have Joel as well. We have two, uh, I would say, a decent goalkeeper. They are both 60, uh, 76 or 67 uh, or 77 rated. But I want to sign a goalkeeper who who has the potential and who now who is young as well. So I decided it's either uh, German Farman or Sergio Rico. So Sergio Rico is 81. I believe I scouted him and then the final scout scouting report he is 81 rated. Yeah, 81 or 82 rated. He is considered as a youngster. So I uh, he's gonna cost us around 36 million dollars and our budget is eight eighty million dollars. So I think it's a little bit broken in the transfer budget in FIFA 17. I hope uh, in FIFA 18 they will change it, change it to uh, you know, a little bit lower because it seems kind of rational uh, for, for Everton to have 80 million dollars so here's the first uh, so here here's the player that I want to buy uh, Nathan Arke uh, the defender for for Chelsea he is 21 years old 60 uh, 76 rated and I think it's a good I think it's a good play I think he's a good player he can provide depth into our squad so here's so there are three right wings that we want to we want to purchase. Is one of them is the star himself, Raya Mares. Uh, he's gonna cost us sixty million dollars, which is very very expensive. And you have and we have uh, Ferial, right midfielder or right winger, Samuel Castillejo. Uh, he's twenty one years old. Uh, he's eighty one rated, and I think. He, he is going to be a very important player in our team. Well, obviously on the right side with Aaron Landon, but he's getting old. His his, his stats is going to uh, his stats going to reduce soon. And we also have Luis Vasquez from Real Madrid. He's 25 years old, 81 rated. He's also decent, but I'm trying to sign a player who is young enough to uh, who's young enough to kind of provide strength to our team. So we have three. So we have three options for right wings, but obviously Marvis is not going to. But it's not going to be one of them anymore because he's way too expensive. Sixty million dollars, and we only have eighty million dollars. So, um, so I'm going to give. So I'm going to give up for for Marvis, But now I'm going to mainly focus on either Luis Vasquez or Samuel Castillejo. So here's here's his stats, and also I want to purchase. I want to buy uh, Mohamed Dehut from uh, Gladbach, a German side. Well, because we have a lot of players who play CDM, and there's two two players who's going who can play uh, CAM. But the thing is, I want to sign a player who can. I want to sign a midfielder who can play box to box, both defensively and offensively. Well, of course, we don't have that sum of money yet. But that's not our top priority. We want to sign. We just really want to sign a right wing, a, a backup defender, or and a goalkeeper. So for the uh, striker issue, for the striker side, 
uh, we are not really um, concerned about that because we have Lukaku, Valencia, Kone, both, uh, all of them are okay, but especially for Lukaku, it's fantastic. So we receive an email from Gareth Barry about his future of the club. He is de he's deciding whether he want to retire or, or, or move on, but most likely he's 35 years old, let's be honest. He's go he, he is going to, he's going to retire soon. So, um, so here we offer, so we offer uh, money for Sergio Rico, RK, RK, RK. He's gonna sign for us, which is a good thing. Seven million dollars. It's kind of cheap as well, and he, he has full potential. And we also receive a, uh, we don't receive, but uh, they, Real Madrid accepted the con uh, offer from from us. We offer uh, Luis Vasquez for twenty five million dollars, but. His wages is way too, it's way too expensive. Around uh, 100,000, 125,000 dollars per week, which is I think a little bit too much. So here we are going to sign the hood, swapping with uh, Bisek, but obviously it's not going to happen. So here's Castillejo, the youngster from Villarreal. Uh, he accepted the con. Uh, he well, the team accepted uh, the offer, so we are going to offer him forty forty thousand dollars per week, and he is going to be a crucial, crucial first team player. But of course, I want to sign him with an important first team player, a four year contract. Hopefully, he is going to sign for us, and the transfer offer is accepted by. Uh, ah, I forgot the team. I oh, forget about that. Sergio Rico. Sergio Rico is going to join us soon. Twenty thousand grand. I mean, I think it, I think his wages is just fantastic. Twenty thousand dollars per week, and he's twenty-two years old, playing uh, the most uh, cru as a crucial member for for his team. No, I I just think he, he's kind of cheap. Thirty-six million dollars for a goalkeeper. I think is is fair fair enough. And the transfer offer for. Uh, the hood is unaccepted is unacceptable because uh, they don't like uh, our c CDM so we so I just offer him 15 million dollars hopefully he will accept that so we have Samuel Castillo his con his contract offer is denied because he doesn't want to move and he, he loves living in in Spain so we offer him a bit more money. I mean, look look at our wage budget. We have like six hundred thousand, six hundred thousand dollars in the wage budget. So we can offer him a lot, and uh, putting him a crucial player and signing him for five years. Hopefully, this time he is going to reject it. But the who come back and said, "Oh, the money is not enough." So here, uh, Sergio Rico is going to accept our offer. Well, the thing is, I am really concerned about our transfer budget. We, I can allocate that, but we, uh, well, you, well, we basically you can see on the screen. So from sixty-one million dollars to eighty-one million dollars, so we have two twenty uh, twenty million dollars extra for for this player. And so, so Sergio Rico, the goalkeeper, join us. So I'm not sure about Scattenberg and Joel. Uh, I think I'm going to sell Skattenberg for for next year. He's 33 years old, and here is Manchester United once again signing a top player, even even though they are going to sign Griezmann. I, I guarantee they are going to sign a lot of good strikers, like three of them. So here is our final. Here is our final uh, starting eleven. Uh, Castillo joins us, Rico joins us, and also. Uh, Arke, uh, Arke join us. So we have three new players, and here's here's the team. We got playing up front. We play five in the, we play five in in, mid, in the midfield. Morales on left, Castillo, Castillo on right. Ross Barkley playing C, and both Gay and Snyder is going to play CDM role. And the four at the back are going to be Coleman, uh, Janelka, Ashley Williams, and ah. And, and Leeds and Baines. So that's the end of the first episode and I will see you guys next time.